This is Wayne Tebow. Wayne Tebow is an American artist known for his colorful painting of sweets. He was born November 15, 1920 in Mesa, Arizona and grew up in Long Beach, California. When he was 16 in 1936, Wayne Tebow worked as an apprentice at Walt Disney Studios. He was called an in-betweener. His job was to draw the pictures that connected the more important frames. From 1942 to 1945, Wayne Tebow served in the U.S. Army Air Force, where his skills as an artist kept him out of combat. He worked in the Special Services Division as a graphic artist and cartoonist. In 1956, he took a year-long sabbatical in New York City to pursue his art, visit museums and galleries, and meet other artists he admired. Wayne Tebow uses multiple elements of art and principles of design in his artwork. He uses a wide range of color, specifically complementary colors, to show the effect of light on an object and its shadow. To create the light and shadows in his paintings, Wayne Tebow uses the element of art called value. Value is the range of light to dark in a work of art. You can create tints by adding white to a color and shades by adding black or darker hues to a color. Pattern is one of the principles of design. Pattern is created by repeating shapes, colors, lines, or symbols. Patterns can be created with repetition. Repetition is a repeated element. Variety is also a principle of design and is depicted by showing different types of an object. Let's create a drawing of cupcakes like Wayne Tebow using the elements of art and principles of design we talked about today. Find your paper, something to draw with, and something to add color. Let's start by drawing three horizontal lines in the middle of our paper. Use each of those lines to create trapezoid shapes for the bottom of the cupcakes. Let's add variety to our picture by making the top of each cupcake different. On my first cupcake, I'm drawing wavy lines stacked on top of each other to create the icing. I'm drawing my second cupcake with a simple curved line. My third cupcake will have a cloud of icing on top. I'm drawing lines to connect the cake part to the wrapper and adding a cherry on top. Now I'm choosing to add sprinkles to my second cupcake. Draw designs and patterns on each of your cupcake's wrappers. Draw a horizontal line behind the cupcakes for the edge of the table. When you start coloring, add shadows beside each cupcake using a dark color. Once you've drawn and colored all of your shadows, 
go ahead and color the rest of your picture. 